Hey friends, uh, I'm here to give you guys another update. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy uh, as we continue to navigate uh, the coronavirus pandemic that continues uh, to ravage the world. Um, and as we're all reflecting right now on issues of social justice and social inequality um, that have really been brought to light um, following the death of George Floyd. So we hope you're all doing well. Um, here in Bolivia, uh, Things have changed a little bit um, over the last two weeks. Um, the number of coronavirus cases has tripled. Um, and yet at the same time, uh, after two months of a pretty strict lockdown, uh, this Monday, uh, the restrictions were lifted. Now it's up to states and municipalities uh, to determine mitigation efforts. Um, and so now when you go around the city, there's cars everywhere, public transportation is up and running. Pretty much all the businesses are open here. Um, and so, yeah, as a foundation, we are doing our best to work with our staff to ensure that um, both when we're working, but also when we're off working, um, now that there is a lot more risk, um, that uh, we're all taking the precautions we need to avoid um, putting our kids at risk. Um, in terms of the day-to-day, -day, things are pretty much the same in, in both of our homes. Uh, the kids, the teens, the young adults, they continue to take classes virtually. Um, and our staff, somehow or another, are continuing to come up with really neat, creative, new ideas um, of activities to distract the kids and, and keep them moving and happy uh, during this time. Um, one thing that uh, is pretty new since our last update is that uh, as we've watched and read the news and seen um, how the lockdown has affected people, um, we've been moved, the staff and the kids, to try to do our part. Um, to help out. Um, there are a lot of families that are suffering. There are uh, police officers who are having to kind of monitor um, the mitigation efforts and are being exposed to the virus a lot more. And there's a lot of doctors and frontline healthcare workers who are also um, putting themselves at risk. And the, the cases amongst these communities is a lot higher. And so with the kids, we've launched an initiative, an outreach. Um, and so we're providing packages of like food and masks and cleaning supplies to um, the families of our children, um, to the families of children who have gone home to live with relatives, uh, to the young adults who went through our transition program and are now living independently, um, and also to uh, kind of families in extreme need that are neighbors of our staff. Um, so that's one group. And then we've also uh, put in an order for a lot of uh, washable masks um, that we're going to be handing out to the police officers that are patrolling the streets. And we're joining uh, forces with an initiative called Sponsor a Hero, which is basically providing PPE to the frontline healthcare workers of the three major um, COVID-19 reference hospitals here in Cochabamba. And so uh, it's a way to give back to the people who are giving so much for us. Um, our children are writing handwritten notes uh, to go with every donation that we make. Um, as a way to encourage them. Um, but also as a way to show our kids that even though they're small and even though they're stuck in a lockdown, um, they can make a difference and help others. Um, and so actually, as I finish this up, I'm gonna upload this video um, and following that, I'm gonna post a link. And if you're interested in helping our kids um, with this outreach, you can make a donation there. Uh, these are not funds to help our operations. Um, these are donations specifically to help these impoverished families, the police, and the medical workers here in Cochabamba. But if you're interested, that would be an awesome way to support our kids. Um, so yeah, that is, that is the latest from here in Cochabamba and with Ninos Con Valor. Um, I just pray that as we're all reflecting so much these days on so many things, you know, our world's taken a bit of a spin in 2020, um, that um, we can all reflect on how our words and actions um, can be a part of, of making a difference and making the changes we need so that we all can live in a world and society where um, everybody is treated equally. So thank you guys for checking in and we'll be back in a couple weeks.